I'm addressing an audience uh, here at uh, Pixelotl with um, uh, a kind of a historical survey that goes from creatures and characters and phantasmagorical locations and places and then I begin to uh, move into uh, a history of fantastic cinema and animation, stop motion animation, the beginning of cinema with George Millay and then continuing on through some current work that I have done. I have just nearly completed the second part of a project that I've been working on for a very long time called Mad God, which is mostly done with stop motion animation and, and miniature sets. And so I'm going to complete four episodes of that. The next one is number two, and then we're gonna do a Kickstarter and do crowdfunding for number three, and then when we get number three done, it'll jump to number four. And then I'm gonna put them all together and see what I've got opposite of my day job. It's, it's a much more kind of an artistic collage and uh, doesn't involve a conventional three-act structure narrative. It's more of like a kind of a hallucinogenic journey. I was inspired by the uh, artist Hieronymus Bosch and Buster Keaton, and, you know, Samuel Beckett. You know, a, a bunch of very disparate artists that live in very different worlds, but I, I was inspired by their takes on life and how they brought things together in kind of a collage or cinematic way. It takes time and an education. I began as a stop motion animator and a fabricator, and after a while I knew a great more than a lot of the other people, so certainly by the time the digital revolution hit, I knew how, how to organize the kind of work that I do in pre-production, go out on location and shoot it and make sure that it would work and bring it back and put it all together. But I, as a result of the computer graphics revolution, I've never touched a computer because it was too much of a waste of time for me. The people that were doing the computers didn't understand the filmmaking side. And I understood the, the filmmaking side and knew enough about what the processes of the computer graphics was to be able to direct them. So, and at that point in time, the computers were changing so fast that it was, for me, it was a waste of time. That if you, if you studied and were proficient on something for, yeah, and it took four months, then that whole thing changed and you had to learn over again. So, it just wasn't worth it to me. And I had a pretty big working schedule. And uh, they said, well, it's in Cornavaca, which I always wanted to go to, and it, you know, you only have to go there for a day because I have to be back to work. And so I said, okay, 